Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Okay, cliff notes on all four? Quickly? Okay, cliff notes. Ready? It's going to be like speed dating. <laughs> iron. Here we go. There's three kinds of iron in your diet. Well, maybe not your diet, but in possibly in a human diet. Heme iron. Heme iron comes from animals. Okay? And heme iron does not come from hemoglobin. You'd think it would, right? We don't eat hemoglobin because when they kill an animal, they drain the blood. If they didn't drain the blood, your meat would be full of blood. Even red meat, they drain the blood. They hang the cow upside down with its neck slit and drain all the blood out. Isn't that a pretty, pretty picture while you're eating dessert? Yeah. You can thank me later. Okay? So the majority of the iron that you're getting as heme iron from an animal, if you eat animal products, is from the muscle from myoglobin, not hemoglobin. Myoglobin only has one heme molecule. Hemoglobin has four heme molecules. So it's much, much more efficient at getting iron into your body than myoglobin is. The other two types of iron, ferrous and ferric, and they both occur in plants, all right? Two thirds of the iron that the average American consumes, two thirds, average American, standard American diet, Two thirds of their iron comes from plants. Did you know that? Which means that there's abundant iron in plants. But the twist is this. Two thirds of the iron that is absorbed by the average American comes from heme. So two thirds of what you're eating for iron comes from plants. Two thirds of what you absorb comes from heme or meat which means that plant irons are not readily absorbed. Their absorption rate is about five to 10%. And you need to eat about 10 to 20 times as much iron as you actually need to ensure that you absorb enough, right? But they found something out. The reason that heme iron crosses the cell membranes easier than ferrous or ferric, the plant irons, is because of the electrical charge of the molecule, okay? They have a different charge. Plant irons have a different charge. And our transporters don't like them because of their charge. They are repelled from the intestinal wall. So what you need is a reducing agent. I'm gonna give you some chemistry terms here just because it's fun. You need a reducing agent. Reducing is gaining, okay, oil rig. Okay, remember this, oil rig. This is all you need to know about chemistry. Oil, oxidation is losing. An electron. Reduction is gaining an electron. Oil rig. So by putting a reducing agent in your diet along with the plant iron that you're eating, you change the electrical charge of the iron and the body can absorb it. What is the best reducing agent in our diet? Vitamin C. Okay? Vitamin C loves to give away electrons. And when it gives electrons to the iron, the iron suddenly changes its charge and whoop, there it goes, it's in the system. So you can significantly increase your iron absorption by consuming plant greens with vitamin C. So what does that look like? Dandelion greens, highest source of iron of any food, dandelion greens. Broccoli, really high in vitamin C. Red pepper, really high in vitamin C. Oranges, not so much. The orange industry wants you to believe different. Broccoli and red peppers, way up there. Uh, there's a lot of different foods that you can eat that have vitamin C. So if you're gonna make a green smoothie, throw in some dandelion greens and throw in something that has vitamin C in it, blend it up, drink it down, and you will absorb all the iron you need, okay? Iron supplements are a problem because you can take too much iron, okay? Who drives a car that was built before 1999? Okay, do you have any rust on that car? The new cars really don't rust anymore. They, it's new materials. You got some rust. You know what rust is? Iron oxide. iron oxide. It's iron that has oxidized. Oil oxidation is losing an electron. Okay? So the iron in your car lost some electrons and oxidized. And that happens in your body too. Iron is very volatile. 
Okay, it, it gives away its electrons pretty easily. And when iron gives away its electrons, it becomes a very dangerous free radical called a hydroxyl molecule or hydroxyl radical. They are the most dangerous free radicals in the human body. They can tear apart a cell membrane in no time flat, causing the cell to leak its contents all over the place. That's called lysing a cell. And they can tear open a nucleus and destroy your DNA. Hydroxyl molecules are vicious creatures. And when you're consuming too much iron, you create massive amounts of these hydroxyl molecules. Okay? That's bad. So you want to be just right. Just like Goldilocks. Okay? What is the perfect diet? The Goldilocks diet. Not too hot, not too cold, not too much, not too little. Right in the middle. Okay? So there you go with iron. You cool on iron now? Yep. Don't take a supplement because it's too much. Do some dandelion greens or other greens, but dandelions are the highest. With some vitamin C, you're rock solid.